The first spaceships containing human passengers head toward Mars. In a historic moment, the first human steps on Mars's soil. The first crew is comprised of scientists, researchers, and robotics engineers from SpaceX and NASA. Together, they embark on groundbreaking scientific experiments, technological tests, and exploration, setting the stage for future Martian communities. Habitats, crafted by robots, stand waiting for their human inhabitants. These state-of-the-art shelters, made with 3D printed materials, not only offer residents but also crucial protection against Mars's intense radiation. A high percentage of food is comprised of lab-produced meat and genetically engineered plants nurtured in protective underground tunnels. There's also a stockpile of familiar food items from Earth. The Mars population has expanded to dozens of people. They're now accompanied by dozens of robots to assist with construction efforts. The most advanced robots with varying levels of general intelligence assist with household chores, food preparation, and more. Many of these robots contain photon-based and quantum computer chips to allow for faster processing. Biodomes have been built, allowing for agriculture using Martian soil. As part of the expansion strategy, larger domes are planned for the near future, with each dome connected to the others to maintain a safe environment for humans. To aid in making Mars more habitable, artificial trees and turbines have been strategically placed around Mars colonies. These structures are vital in transforming carbon dioxide into oxygen, ensuring that the air within closed interiors remain breathable. Using special drones and virtual reality, scientists can experience and explore difficult to reach areas on Mars as if they were there in person, both from Mars and Earth. Habitats are being strategically placed underground and within the natural lava tubes of Mars, offering residents optimal protection against the planet's radiation. Scientists discover Martian microbial life for the first time, showing that Earth isn't the only planet with life. Most of the energy that the Mars city relies on comes from solar panels and nuclear fusion reactors on the Mars surface. 3D bioprinters, now a staple in Martian medical facilities, can print essential organs and skin. This capability drastically reduces the risk of premature deaths and enhances the quality of life for all inhabitants. The release of the first documentary detailing the day-to-day -day experiences of Martian settlers has become an unprecedented box office hit, giving Earthlings a gripping insight into life on the Red Planet. With the advent of advanced fusion-powered spacecraft, human passengers can now travel from Earth to Mars in less than a month, a monumental leap in space travel. The first super-intelligent AI on Mars oversees vast aspects of Martian life, from governance to ecosystem balance. Super-intelligent AIs will get more powerful and capable as more infrastructure and energy is made available on Mars. Scientists are starting to use genetic engineering and biotech to make astronauts more resilient to Martian radiation and gravity effects. Mars citizens can undergo procedures at genetic modification centers to better adapt their bodies to Mars's environment. The cure for many forms of cancer is now a reality, making it feasible to counteract the effects of radiation on the Martian surface. Furthermore, a significant number of people benefit from nanobots in their bloodstream, which can repair damaged cells. Ambitious terraforming projects are currently in progress on Mars, with a primary focus on increasing the planet's water content. One of the key strategies involves harnessing sunlight through orbital solar panels to melt the Martian ice caps, thus introducing more water into the ecosystem. Humans are merging with super-intelligent AIs a groundbreaking initiative aimed at accelerating development and innovation on the Red Planet. Specialized rooms, equipped with state-of-the-art quantum computers, are dedicated to modeling the Martian ecosystem, playing a pivotal role in strategizing future terraforming efforts. A Mars-specific internet system is in the developmental phase, complemented by a pioneering quantum internet that seamlessly supports advanced quantum cloud computing functionalities. Mars is rapidly becoming a hotspot for professional opportunities. Every two years, hundreds of individuals journey to Mars, attracted by lucrative jobs. Many individuals now wear augmented reality-enhanced helmets, offering them real-time visual metrics of their external environments, providing valuable insights and data overlays. The introduction of digital wallets tailored for a Mars-centric digital currency is underway, heralding a new era of Martian finance and economics. 
Full immersion virtual reality systems are a dominant source of entertainment with people immersing themselves in photorealistic simulations imported from Earth. Moreover, many individuals establish nightly connections with conscious AIs, seeking companionship and unique interactions that bridge the gap between human and machine. A tragic event unfolds as a group of Mars citizens face a catastrophic equipment failure before meeting their untimely demise during a sandstorm. This somber incident serves as a stark reminder of the inherent dangers and unpredictability of the Martian environment. The first person climbs Olympus Mons, the tallest mountain and volcano on Mars. It's also taller than any other mountain or volcano in our entire solar system. This daring climb not only symbolizes human tenacity, but also deepens our connection to the Martian landscape. To facilitate seamless communication between Mars and Earth, a network of satellites are now positioned in Mars's orbital path. These relay stations ensure uninterrupted dialogue between the two celestial bodies. Mars celebrates a momentous occasion, the birth of the first Martian baby. Medical teams are meticulously monitoring both the mother and child, studying the physical ramifications of childbirth in the Martian environment. Vast underground cities, exemplifying state-of-the-art design and engineering, are emerging on Mars, housing thousands of residents. Some living areas offer luxurious accommodations for wealthy Mars citizens. Additionally, to optimize space utilization, there are supplementary facilities constructed above the surface. Powering these sprawling cities is highly efficient and eco-friendly fusion energy. Advanced artificial intelligence systems expertly manage various city operations from orchestrating traffic flow to overseeing crucial life support mechanisms. Mars is now a major hub for the space mining industry. The mining of asteroids is making corporations trillions of dollars. After extracting valuable materials from both asteroids and Mars, these resources are transported back to Earth aboard reusable rockets. As populations grow and spread, individual settlements function as independent city-states with their own governance structures. A governing body representing the different city-states is emerging to address larger territorial or shared resource issues. Cities on Mars are now fortified with potent magnetic fields. This protective shield safeguards the inhabitants from harmful radiation, making it safer for them to walk inside cities while on Mars's surface. With advanced virtual reality and digitization, there is a robust market for virtual goods, experiences and services that can be shipped instantaneously across interplanetary distances. A Martian startup is selling specially designed flying cars, these vehicles are adept at swiftly covering vast distances, revolutionizing travel on the Red Planet. After living on Mars for years, some people are moving back to Earth. Because Mars has weaker gravity, these people have health issues like weaker muscles, thinner bones, and cardiovascular changes when they return. To help, many are using exoskeletons during their first weeks back on Earth. Humans are uploading their memories to video sharing platforms. This first-hand perspective offers invaluable insights, giving viewers an intimate understanding of Martian life. Numerous human settlements flourish in proximity to Mars's natural features, particularly near the caves and lava tubes surrounding the Arcea Mons volcano. These locations offer both protection and unique resources, making them prime spots for habitation. Hundreds of facilities are being constructed, serving various purposes from living quarters and restaurants to communication hubs and research centers. Mars's lower gravity, about 38% of Earth's, introduces a fascinating dimension to sports played on its surface. For instance, elite basketball players, who can typically achieve a vertical leap of over three feet on Earth, find themselves soaring up to almost nine feet on Mars. Similarly, Olympic skaters, who might execute four mid-air spins on Earth, can astoundingly perform just over 10 spins in the Martian atmosphere. The first generation of children born on Mars develop a profound connection to the Red Planet. Their bond with Mars surpasses any ties they might feel to Earth, cultivating a distinctive Martian identity. As AI and robotic systems grow more conscious and sophisticated, Mars governments grapple with how to handle rights for these sentient beings. Innovative devices known as replicators have begun to revolutionize Martian construction and sustenance. These machines have the capability to fabricate everything from essential tools to food items, making resource management more efficient. Breakthroughs in superconductor technology on Mars have led to portable nuclear fusion reactors, 
portable medical imaging machines, and more efficient energy storage solutions. To address medical emergencies and ensure the health of its citizens, every major Martian city is equipped with personal health pods. These advanced medical chambers offer full body scans and provide a wide range of diagnoses and treatments. An impressive telescope has been constructed within a Martian crater. This monumental device allows scientists and astronomers to peer into the vast cosmos, observing celestial bodies at incredible distances. A trip from Earth to Mars takes only a few days thanks to advancements in antimatter propulsion and nuclear fusion propulsion in spacecraft. Numerous nations, including Great Britain, India, China, and the United Emirates, have initiated the construction of their distinct bases across various regions of Mars. As a result, the Martian landscape is now adorned with structures that reflect unique and refined architectural designs, showcasing each nation's culture and identity. To aid in the terraforming process, Nuclear-powered devices, among other heat sources, are strategically positioned below the surface at Mars's north and south poles. These devices are specifically designed to melt the ice, releasing vast amounts of CO2 into the Martian atmosphere and accelerating the transformation of the planet. Small groups of Martian residents are expressing their dissent over the ongoing terraforming initiatives. They are vocal in their concerns about the ethical and environmental implications of transforming the Martian landscape. 